Welcome to Lisa's Book Nook. I'm Lisa, and I'm so excited to be reading to you tonight. So, get your favorite stuffed animal or a doll, and I've got my little destroller baby. Yeah, had to look at her name uh, that I've named it Lily. Get your favorite stuffed animal or doll, climb into bed, fluff your pillow, Pull your covers up, wiggle your body in nice and comfy, close your eyes, and let's get ready to go into the land of make-believe. Let's first relax ourselves like we do every night. We're going to get into bed, get comfy, and let's do our breathing exercises to relax our body prior to the story. Let's breathe in through our nose and out through our mouths. One more time. Remember to keep your eyes closed and we're gonna have a deep breath in through our nose and out through our mouths. One more deep, relaxing breath in through our nose and out through our mouths. Now, let's travel into the faraway land of make-believe. Tonight's book is There's a Hole in the Log on the Bottom of the Lake. I'm gonna try my best not to sing this book <laughs> because it's one of those really fun, fabulous repetition books where it's almost like a sing-songy type pattern. And this one is by Lauren Long. And I loved this book. Just again, Miss Lisa is attracted to colors, um, big, vibrant colors. And this right here just has so much going on. So many beautiful colors, deep, rich colors. This is not the normal vibrance that I would be attracted to. This has more of a rich undertone. It's like um, a creamy book. And I know that's kind of crazy, but I look at it and I think creamy and rich. And like I said, I'm going to try my best not to sing this book because it's just one of those books that you just want to sing when you have all of those words that are filled with repetition and as we know boys and girls you guys might be a little bit older and i've been in the child care business um, early childhood education business for over 20 years and as you know children learn through repetition so I love when, you know, we have these sing-songy books and these repetitive words. It's so much fun. And it's also so much fun for our friends who might have speech impediments, speech delays, and things like that. Easier words that are uh, repeated often and sort of in a playful, like I said, sing-songy way. So this one is probably gonna be shorter but it's gonna still be fun. So, we got our little turtle, and is that a sea or a lake snail? I think so. So, here we go. I was just blabbing and blabbing, so let me read the title of the book again. There's a hole in the log on the bottom of the lake. There's a log on the bottom of the lake. There's a log on the bottom of the lake. Do you hear voices? That's what the little turtle is saying. There's a log. There's a log. There's a log, log, log. There's a log on the bottom of the lake. It's just a piece of rotten wood. Do you see why I have to resist the urge to sing this? I literally just want to sing it. It's like a tongue twister. There's a hole in the log on the bottom of the lake. 
There's a hole in the log on the bottom of the lake. A hole what? It just looks empty to me. I am trying my best not to sing, to sing this, this book. It's so much fun. There's a hole, there's a hole. There's a hole, hole, hole in the log, log, log. There's a hole in the log on the bottom of the lake. Dial 911, turtle on its back. Emergency, turtle is freaking out. <clears throat> There's a frog in the hole in the log on the bottom of the lake. There's a frog in the hole in the log on the bottom of the lake. Hey, look, it's the guys. Wait for us. I was talking about these guys. There's a frog? There's a frog? There's a frog, frog, frog in the hole, hole, hole in the log, log, log. There's a frog in the hole in the log on the bottom of the lake. There's a hair on the frog in the hole in the log on the bottom of the lake. There's a hair on the frog in the hole in the log on the bottom of the lake. There's a hair, there's a hair. There's a hair, hair, hair on the frog, frog, frog in the hole, hole, hole in the log, log, log. There's a hair on the frog in the hole in the log on the bottom of the lake. There's a fly on the hair on the frog in the hole in the log on the bottom of the lake. There's a fly on the hair on the frog in the hole in the log on the bottom of the lake. There's a fly, there's a fly, there's a fly, fly, fly on the hair, 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 on the frog, 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 in the hole, 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 in the log, log, log. There's a fly on the hair, on the frog, in the hole, in the log, on the bottom of the lake. There's a gnat on the fly, on the hair, on the frog, in the hole, in the log, on the bottom of the lake. There's a gnat on the fly, on the hair, on the frog, in the hole, in the log, on the bottom of the lake. There's a gnat, there's a gnat, there's a gnat, 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 on the fly, 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 on the hair, 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 on the frog, 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 in the hole, 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 in the log, 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 there's a gnat on the fly, on the hair, on the frog, in the hole, in the log, on the bottom of the lake. There's a fish near the gnat, on the fly, on the hair, on the frog, in the hole, in the log, on the bottom of the lake. There's a fish near the gnat, on the fly, on the hair, on the frog, in the hole, in the log, on the bottom of the lake. There's a chomp snap. Oh, whoa. Um. <laughs> I was on a roll. I didn't see that happening. <laughs> chomp snap gulp. <laughs> I completely did not see that happening, boys and girls. There's a fish on the bottom of the lake. There's a fish on the bottom of the lake. There's a fish, just a fish. There's a fish on the bottom of the lake. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> that was much. You see what I'm saying?
that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. A lot of repetitious words, um, fun learning, sing-songy words, really good for students that have a speech impediments that might be uh, learning to properly pronunciate certain sounds, um, certain you know letters and things of that nature. So much fun. I love that. And I did not see that end coming. That end was like, whoa. <laughs> okay, boys and girls, let's go ahead and get ready for bed. And if you're not going to bed at this moment, let's just take a couple of minutes to calm our body. It's always really great um, to reset your body, to calm it, to put it in a calm state for whatever your next activity might be. Let's go ahead and first we'll sing our Twinkle Twinkle Little Star song. I love ending my um, reading sessions with that song. It's one of my favorite nursery rhymes. Not my favorite, um, not my only favorite, I should say. I've been in the business over 20 years, so there's so many that I absolutely love. But this is one of the simplest and quickest, and it's just so much fun. So let's go ahead. I'm going to count to three and we will sing. One, two, three. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Go ahead and snuggle in bed. If you're not in bed, just take a moment to relax yourself wherever you are. Let's go ahead and start our deep breathing. Remember, we're going to go in deeply through our nose and exhale slowly through our mouth. Let's start now. Relax your shoulders, relax your legs, relax your body. Let's go again in deeply through our nose and exhale through our mouth. Completely relax your body, snuggle in. If you're not in bed, just relax. Feel your body going limp. Release any tension that you might have. Let's do it for the final time. Breathe deeply in through your nose and exhale through your mouth. Thank you so much for reading this book with me and allowing me to read it to you. Um, I had a lot of fun reading that. That was an unexpected ending and I really, really, really enjoyed it. And if you're going to bed now, sweet dreams. I hope you have a great night. If you're not going to bed, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Talk to you later.